Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Today I'm going to take you through five ways in which you can improve your relationship with your partner and indeed with anyone in your life. It all comes down to the same thing. Know who you're with and know yourself. So the first thing that we need to look at is type. As we know, there are four types of human being. And although Ra suggests that it's type for type that is best, generators with generators, projectors with projectors, manifestors with manifestors, and reflectors with reflectors. However, the magic happens and two people meet and we find ourselves with who we find ourselves with. So the first thing is to consider if you are with a different type, they're going to operate differently. You know, a manifesting generator with basically any other type is going to be more active. They're going to be busy. They're going to be wanting to do things because they've got this energy to use in them all of it every day, which can be absolutely exhausting for the other types, you know, even with the pure generators. So bear that in mind. And if you're with a projector and you're a generator, understand that the projector is going to need more attention. They need to be recognized. They're reliant on the life force of the generator to get things done. But they can also over rev with that. They can end up doing too much themselves. And if you love them, look after them. You know, make sure they go to bed before you so they have more sleep. They need more sleep. If you're with a reflector, well, a reflector is going to change depending on the movement of the moon. So actually, you're, you're living with one person with many different ways of coming out of being that person. You know, sometimes they're going to be emotional, you know, one day after the other, and they're not at all. They're going to be like different people. And if you enjoy that diversity, and uh, it can be really quite exciting, but they're not going to be like you. So human design is here to help us be ourselves, you know, to show us what the design is. But you've got to recognize that other people are different and they need to be themselves, too. If you're living with a manifesto, you've got to give that manifesto space, no control. You know, they are a in their own territory, they should have control of their own territory. But they're going to be very sensitive to control issues. And then you've got to consider the other side of the signatures. You know, the manifesto wants peace. The generator wants satisfaction. The projector wants to be recognized and wants success in their life and to bring success for others. And the reflector wants surprise. So when you bear all that in mind and you know their signatures, then this is what you pay attention to. The types are different. And to act accordingly with the type of your partner. That way you balance each other. That way you can support each other. The second thing to bear in mind is going to be authority. The inner authority to make correct decisions. I mean, this is really what the whole of human design is about, to make correct decisions, to move in your life according to who you are. But what happens if you're a, a splenic projector and you make decisions in the moment and you're highly intuitive and you're quick? Well, think about your partner. If your partner is an emotional being, you say, OK, let's go. It's going to be too much for them. It's like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready yet. You know, the, the emotions have to process. They have to process and get ready before they move into something. So moving too quickly is going to disturb them with all the consequences of that. If you're living with someone who has a will as an authority, their willpower, that what they have will for is, is how they make their decisions. It may be very, very different to what you want and the way that you operate. But it's important to them. It is, after all, their inner authority. You must allow for that. You know, in using the knowledge, you have to use it every day with the partner to understand them, to come to a meeting with them based on who they are, based on who you are. The third thing to consider are the centers that you have. The centers that you have fixed and the centers that you have open. The centers your partner has fixed and the centers they have open. 
they're likely to be different. So, for example, if you're um, if you've got a fixed splenic system, you're going to be more aware of the environment. You're going to be more alert to the changes that are going on, to the subtle changes that are going on. If your partner doesn't have a fixed spleen, they can be completely oblivious to the surroundings. You know, you might find that quite irritating, but what to do? That's the way they are. You've got to accept them as they are, rather than what usually happens in a relationship is everyone tries to make the other one like them, and it really doesn't work. If you have an open head in Arjuna and your partner has a fixed head in Arjuna, they've got a your partner's got a mind that keeps on thinking and that's inspired, that wants to get it out, that wants to speak it. You know, you can you can teach them, work with them, that it's not always appropriate to come out, but it will at certain times. And you have to understand your difference and to see that and to see that, OK, this is the way they're working. You know, if you're interested in what they have to say, it's amazing. If it's not, then you need to be tolerant. You need to be true to yourself as well. So not to allow your partner to take over your life and decision making, but to allow for the differences. If you have a fixed G center and your partner has an open G center, this is going to make a big difference. After all, the openness in your partner will want to mold itself around your character, around your identity. And yet they are them, you know, they are them. Maybe they want to use your direction for their life. Again, you've got to allow for this. You've got to see what it is. You've got to understand the not self sides too. the endlessly looking for love in the open G. The trying to attract attention in the open throat. You know, together you can work together to to remind each other, to be a mirror to the other in terms of the correct behavior for these open centers, so that the centers become a place of great wisdom that you can then share together and grow together. Let's not forget that in terms of relationship, you know, we come together in order to have a better life with the other person in our life. This is the beginning of the quarter of duality. It begins with the seventh gate. Is this person going to benefit me? Am I going to benefit them? And you've both got to be growing together. If you're not growing together, then what's the point? Together with the right person, you can both grow, at least for a while, down the same path. If you begin to go off on the other into other directions, well, then maybe it's time to part. Maybe relationships are a little like stepping stones where you can both grow at a certain time and then you go in different directions. Maybe some of you will stay together forever. Maybe it's a relationship that really works. But you've got to also take into account the chemistry of your partner and the chemistry of yourself. You know, if you're highly individual and you're living with a very collective person, they're not going to see things in the same way. They're going to be about sharing with others and individuals don't particularly want to do that all the time <laughs> and what they share may not may not be able to be understood by those who are not individual the pulsic nature the moody nature of the individual how would that go together with someone who is very tribal you know when tribe is involved then gifts are involved then support is expected and if you have no tribe in you, your partner will still expect support from you because of their nature. To bear that in mind. If your partner is strongly logical, they will have a critical awareness that they may, that may come out in a way that you go, oh, you know, God, stop nagging me. But actually, they're trying to help you. You may not want that help, but at the same time, they can't help to point out what's wrong and what could be better. It's just the way it is. And don't forget the fifth one, the profile. So when we're talking about the 12 profiles, the six lines involved. So if you're a one, three profile and you're in a relationship with a five, two profile, you're not going to see the world in the same way. The five, two is more practical. The five, two is also someone who doesn't want to be in the limelight all the time. You know, they want to, you know, live within their own bubble. 
if you're a one three you want to dig deep into the nature of things in a way they may not if you're living with a fourth line being you know a four six or a two four then you're not just in relationship with them you're in relationship with their friends as well because they have to be in touch with their friends to bear all this in mind you know to see how you can grow with your partner by bearing in mind what they have in them what you have in you and to find a way to make it work to find a way to accommodate that without going against your own authority and together you can grow there is one final thing that isn't on the list but it is a kind of a general advice that you can improve your relationship by sleeping in your own aura now i know the tribal people will not like that they like nestling in and cuddling and and being together i know that but when you're asleep i mean when you're unconscious you're unconscious of being cuddled or held. When you sleep in your own aura, you wake up in your own aura. You begin to uh, be very clear about where you end and the other begins. And this is the general advice that Ra gave us, so that you can meet the other again in the morning. You know, It's not about making love. It's not about how much you love each other. It's about the clarity of living as yourself with someone else. And when you sleep in the same bed at night, the, the auras merge and you condition each other. And this is, you know, you wake up as a mixture of you and them, and they wake up as a mixture of you and them as well. So the clarity begins to go, the edges begin to merge and things get very confusing. So that's just general advice. You know, it's really about you allowing yourself to make the correct decision going into the relationship in the first place and it's not correct according to anyone else's rules or what anyone else thinks it's correct according to your own inner authority the key to all this is know yourself and know your partner and use human design in that way and they will show you so many things and you will show them so many things and you will learn together and grow together. And that's really what relationship is all about. OK, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very soon with something completely different. Bye bye for now.